in this video i will talk about concept of super node after that i will talk about why we need to apply super node analysis in a circuit after that i will show you an example and how to it solve in step by step manner so what is super node a super node is a large node that connects two non reference nodes with a known voltage source our super node will connect to non reference nodes with a known voltage source remember this okay now let's say i have this circuit here see this circuit will have total three nodes first one is let's say this is our node number 1 this is our node number 2 and this is our ground terminal therefore i will assume this is our reference node and this reference node will have a voltage of v not equal to 0 volt okay now let's say i have as i have assigned node voltage v1 to node number 1 and node voltage v2 to node number 2 what is this super node see between node number 1 and node number 2 we have a known voltage source of 12 volt that means this 12 volt source has connected the node 1 and the node 2 that means the node 1 and node 2 will form our super node that means the region inside this broken line will form our super node in the circuit why don't we use our normal nodal analysis method in the circuit see if i have to solve this circuit using normal nodal analysis method i have to apply kcl at this node and this node separately while applying kcl that means i have to deal with current now if i want to calculate the current through any branch i have to apply ohm's law that means i will be equal to voltage difference across the two terminals of that branch divided by the value of resistor now look at the branch between the node 1 and node 2 here we have a voltage source of 12 volt we don't have any problem with that but there, there is no resistance connected in this branch as there is no resistance connected if i assume the branch resistance i have to assume that it has to be equal to zero so if i consider this branch resistance as zero there should be infinite amount of current in this branch which is not possible therefore we will follow a different method to solve this kind of circuit that contains a known voltage source or a, an independent voltage source across two non reference node and and that method of circuit analysis is known as super node method and while using super node analysis method i will apply kvl and kcl to the super node okay now let me solve this circuit using super node analysis method using the super node concept determine the node voltages see in this circuit i have to determine the node voltages at first see i have pointed out the steps i will follow to solve this circuit so at step number 1 identify the total number of nodes and from them i have to pick a reference node see here we have a node here let's say this is our node 1 we have another node here let's say this is our node 2 and we have another node here which is ground and i will pick this ground as our reference and this reference voltage will have a voltage of v not equal to 0 volt see i am done with step number 1 after that i have to assign node voltages to all the nodes that means i have to node voltages to all the non reference node as this is our node one let's say this node has a voltage of v1 this node has a voltage of v2 so i am done with our step number 2 as i have given v not equal to 0 volt to our reference node 
after that i have to identify the super node and find the voltage difference between the nodes of the independent voltage source see between node 1 and node 2 as these two are the non reference node between these two non reference node we have an independent voltage source of 12 volt connected that means the node 1 and node 2 will form our super node now i will indicate that with a region inside broken lines so the region inside this broken line will form our super node after that i have to take the voltage difference across the two terminals of this 12 volt source let's say i have a 5 volt dc source here this terminal has a voltage of v1 and this terminal has a voltage of v2 now how do we find the voltage difference between these two terminals i will take v1 minus v2 will be equal to 5 volt in a dc voltage source this positive terminal will be at higher potential with respect to this negative terminal that means in case of this 12 volt source the positive terminal is connected at node number 2 therefore node 2 voltage will be higher than the node 1 voltage because the negative terminal is connected with the node 1 therefore i will take the voltage at this terminal minus the voltage at this terminal will be equal to the voltage rating of this independent source which i can write like this v2 minus v1 will be equal to 12 and this will give our equation number 1 see i am done with our step number 3 after that i have to replace the independent voltage source with a short circuit and redraw the circuit indicating super node see i have replaced the voltage source or independent voltage source with a short circuit and this will be the region inside our super node so i am done with our step number four after that i have to apply kcl to the super node now see if i replace the voltage source with a short circuit the node one and the node two will be merged to form our super node that means i can treat these two nodes as a single node that means i don't have any other node except this super node that means i have to apply kcl only to this super node now i will apply kcl while applying kcl at the super node i have to assume all the unknown currents are outgoing from the super node let's say the current that will be flowing through this 6 ohm will be i1 and it is outgoing as it is unknown the current that will be flowing through this 4 ohm will be our i2 it will also be outgoing as it is an unknown current the current through this 2 ohm will also be unknown and i will take this outgoing from this node let's say that will be our i3 see the 2 ampere current source is supplying a known current incoming to this super node so now i will apply kcl to this super node kcl states that i have to take the summation of incoming currents at one side and their summation will be equal to summation of outgoing currents or the current leaving the nodes see here we have the only incoming current as 2 ampere so i will take 2 in the left side and in the right side i will take i1 plus i2 and i3 i1 plus i2 plus i3 now see i1 is the current that is flowing through this 6 ohm resistor and how do we calculate the current through a resistor let's say if i have a resistor r here this terminal is at voltage of vx and this terminal is at voltage of vy if this vx is greater than vy our current i will be flowing in this direction and i will calculate current by using ohm's law i will take higher voltage minus lower voltage divided by the value of 
that register now what will be the value of this i1 see this terminal will have a voltage of 5 volt as current is flowing from this direction so v1 will be greater than 5 volt so i will take v1 minus 5 divided by 6 now what will be this i2 see i2 is the current that is flowing through this 4 ohm this terminal has a voltage of 0 volt and this terminal is has a voltage of v1 v1 minus 0 divided by 4 which i can write v1 by 4 after that this current i3 this terminal has a voltage of v2 and this terminal has a voltage of 0 volt i will take v2 minus 0 i will not write it down v2 divided by 2 now if i take the lcm of this equation i will get 12 as least common multiple 2 v1 minus 10 plus 3 v1 plus 6 v2 and this will be equal to 2 so i will get 24 equal to 5 v1 plus 6 v2 minus 10 which i can write like this 5 v1 plus 6 v2 will be equal to 34 now from equation number 1 i can write it like this our v2 will be equal to v1 plus 12 if i put the value of v2 here i will see 5 into v1 plus 6 v1 plus 12 will be equal to 34 from which I can deduce 11 V1 plus 72 equal to 34 from which I can write our 11 V1 will be equal to 34 minus 72 will be equal to minus 38 so our v1 will be equal to minus 38 divided by 11 will be equal to minus 3.45 volt from equation number one i can write v2 equal to v1 plus 12 here our v1 is equal to minus 3.45 minus 3.45 plus 12 from which i can write our v2 will be equal to 8.55 volt 